What would I do if I was making the pick for the Tennessee Titans? I'll go over my entire thought process on a special edition of the Locked on Titans podcast. You are Locked on Titans, your daily Tennessee Titans podcast. Part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome to a special edition of the Locked On Titans podcast. Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, immediately after you watch this video, the 2024 Locked On NFL Mock Draft will be live on Locked On Sports Today here on YouTube and on Amazon Fire TV. Every single host of a Locked On NFL podcast will be making the pick for their team. It includes trades, deals, conversations. I am making the pick for the Tennessee Titans, and there is a lot to think about. I'm going through my entire thought process and leading you guys up to the drop of that mock draft. Again, 7 p.m. Eastern time here on YouTube on the Locked On Sports Today YouTube channel. My show is going to flow directly into it, so just stay tuned. But first, I'm going to get you guys ready and talk about my thought process, where the Titans are at here. And the first thing that we got to talk about is what are the Titans' biggest needs, okay? And there is some debate here about that. I think it's pretty obvious that the top need for the Tennessee Titans is offensive tackle. I don't think that there is an argument that can be made for any other position. There is no position on the team that the Titans need more than offensive tackle. Period. Point blank. Cut and dry. No questions. They have no starting offensive tackles. They don't have a single one. You could talk about Nicholas Petit Ferrer. I don't believe in MPF as a start, a good starter. He could start, but that doesn't mean he's going to be good. They're already saying Dylan Ravens is going to play at guard. Sadiq Charles is going to play at guard. Daniel Brunskill needs to play at guard. Peter Skaronsky is going to stay at guard. Obviously, Lloyd Cushenberry is playing center. They traded for Leroy. Watson, but if you think that a converted tight end who's been an undrafted player, who's only played in six NFL games because he's been on practice squads, who got traded for a seventh-round pick, if you think that guy is your plug-in starting right tackle or left tackle, whoa, you're out of your mind, all right? He's going to be a backup. He's looking to be in the swing tackle for the Titans. He's going to compete with Jalen Duncan and NPF for a roster spot, okay? So those aren't starting tackles. The Titans don't have a single starting offensive tackle on their roster right now. So offensive tackle, by far, the biggest need for the Titans. And let me know down below what your ranking is of the Titans' biggest needs. Number two, for me, is edge rusher. Titans need edge rusher desperately. They only have two, Arden Key and Harold Landry. And Harold Landry got back to form last year. Harold Landry looked great after the bye week. No question about it. was fantastic. But Arden Key, on the other hand, and it's funny because Brian Callahan, Brian Callahan has said this. Arden Key is a rotational pass rusher. He said that we have Harold Landry. And then Arden Key is a rotational. Like, they're telling us out in the open what they think. And I agree. Arden Key is a rotational edge rusher. He needs to be your third edge rusher, not your second. Okay? And when Arden Key got his career back on track, it was in San Francisco as the third rusher. It was in Jacksonville as the third rusher. He plays with incredible energy and incredible motor, but he can't keep that pace up 80 snaps a game for a whole season. All right? And... He's not the strongest guy. He's got great length, great athleticism, but he gets bullied sometimes when he gets caught in certain pass rush moves and offensive linemen catch him, okay? So the Titans need another edge rusher desperately. So I'll put that at number two. But number three is where the controversy comes because I still think it's wide receiver. I don't care that they don't have a starting nose tackle. I don't care that they don't have a starting five tech. I don't care that they don't have another starting inside linebacker, that they don't have a starting safety. Wide receiver is a huge need. I've explained this over and over and over again. DeAndre Hopkins, 
32, last year of his contract. Calvin Ridley is going to turn 30 soon. The Titans need a young wide receiver, and Brian Callahan plays three wide receiver sets. 11 personnel is going to be the base personnel. Long gone are the days of a fullback and two tight ends and three tight ends. and That's gone. Now, the Titans may run some of those formations because, you know, you're not going to limit yourself to only a couple. But their base personnel is going to include three wide receivers. Brian Callahan just said the other day, we need someone to emerge in the slot because all we have is Kyle Phillips, Mason Kinsey, and NWI. Ah! Imagine one of those guys being considered your starter. So wide receiver is still a huge need, not only in the short term, but in the long term. And do not tell me about Traylon Burks. Give me a break, okay? So those are my top three needs for the Titans. Offensive tackle, edge rusher, and wide receiver. Especially in the first round, those are the only positions I would even sniff. And I don't even want to take one of the edge rushers because I don't think any of these edge rushers are elite edge rushers. I'm not taking Dallas Turner or Latou or Jared Verse. I'm not taking them at seven. I'm not even taking them if I trade back to 13, 14, 12, 11. I'm not taking them there. I'm taking one of the tackles. Or I'm taking a wide receiver. It's that obvious. But edge is still a big need, and I want the Titans to hit it, you know, within their first couple of picks. So those are my top three needs. After that, we can look more short-term, and I'll say uh, defensive line, like another pass rusher that may not be an edge rusher, like a Danico Autry replacement. And then I'll say safety. All right, I just don't care as much about inside linebacker. And I explained that on tonight's Locked on Titans full podcast where I break down the linebacker group and I break down the interior defensive line group. I explain my philosophy there. If you're questioning that, check out that as well. But now, who would be the best fits for the Titans? Now that we know what we need, obviously, Joe Alt. I'm the leader of the Alt cult. That is my number one option for the Titans in the first round. I want to get Joe Alt, but he may not be there. And if he's not there when I go to pick, I'm going to have to consider Olu Fashionu, J.C. Latham. Potentially a trade down if I don't like any of the options. Something that I'm not going to lie to you, I considered. I had some conversations around. So that's something I might do. I might trade down if Joe Alt's off the board. I'm not going to tell you what happens, but I might do it. All right? So you got to make sure that you tune in to the Locked On NFL Mock Draft. But besides that, obviously, at wide receiver, if Joe Alt isn't there, I want one of these wide receivers. Malik Neighbors, Roma Dunze, Marvin Harrison Jr. is probably going to be long gone. If he's there, I'm I'm taking him. I'll tell you guys that now. But he's probably going to be long gone. So the really, for me, the only options I have here are the three offensive tackles, Alt, Fashionu, and Latham, and then Neighbors or Dunze. Those five players. That, that's the real, whether I trade back or not, those are the real options. Now, I'll tell you this before I go, before I lead you into the drop of the 2024 Locked On NFL Mock Draft. I'm worried about the Chargers. I am worried. Are they going to take Joe Alt in front of me? That's the only team I'm worried about, folks. The only team I'm worried about is those Chargers, man. Are they going to take Joe Alt in front of me? Hmm. Scary. It's scary not knowing what's going to happen. When you think about Rand Carthon and Chad Brinker and Anthony Robinson in the Titans front office trying to do this stuff in real time, this is my favorite thing we do here at Locked On. I love the Locked On NFL mock draft because it literally puts me in Rand Carthon's chair and I get to see what picks are happening in front of me and it's all happening in real time. And I'm having conversations with other GMs. Will I trade down with Minnesota? Will I trade down with New Orleans? or Las Vegas, or Denver. So many options. So much to go through. Again, it's dropping right now. The Locked On NFL mock draft with all the teams. So if you're watching live right now, you're about to be sent to the debut of the 2024 Locked On NFL mock draft presented by LinkedIn. On our Locked On Sports Today 24-7 live streaming feed. If you're watching this after the fact, You'll be able to go catch the episode in the Locked On Titans podcast feed as well. I'll be making the Titans' first pick right here on Locked On Titans. It'll drop on Thursday, April 18th, and you can get every episode of the 2024 Locked On NFL Mock Draft 
on Locked On NFL Draft on Thursday, April 18th as well. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.